Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, uh, we are doing a podcast, so it's TNT D I N O M I G H T. Hey, uh, you like shot that. like a Kobe? That was a that was a dab. Uh, no, that was a, clearly you a putting dab. your hand over your eyes is not the dab. This this is. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Literally, what it is. Man, you gotta it's get a, it right in the elbow like the D Brown. Oh, it was a, it's a <laughs> stylized dab. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take I'll take your give you artistic freedom on your dab. It was like an anime dab. <laughs> it was a hentai dab. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much Whoa. for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. We're glad you're here, whether it's on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, or uh, you know, Spotify, iTunes, listening to our auditory tones in your uh, ears, or uh, this guy, he's twitching it. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Yes, I changed the time because I need a life, too. I was about to call you a tweaker. I was like, this guy's a tweaker. <laughs> I'm a tweaker, dude. <laughs> Watch my mom on Twitch. He, you, you're going to be fighting for his attack. Couple of you, you, you. <laughs> Jonas, I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you do. It's like dad shit. <laughs> Anyways. Not, no, don't you fucking come near my son. He's got all kinds of girls. <laughs> the Rocha kid. Who was that girl you were talking to on the phone, champ? <laughs> yeah, that was Julie who called you the other night, huh? Oh, shit. Yeah, come feel the love. Yeah, dude. <laughs> on Twitch. Yeah, come come tweak with TNT on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, it, dude. what do you got for me today? Let I don't you know, start. Pops. Uh, <laughs> I had some shit, dude, but you know what? They need to put a history feature on Reddit. Well, Every the thing is you use a third party app. What do you? Third That's party not the official app. Reddit app. Oh, does the official Reddit app use it? I don't know. It's garbage. I think you'd just be able to like maybe backspace. But even regardless, man, everything that I pushed my finger on, yeah. I showed like minimal interest in. And a couple of those are mistakes. Yeah. I need a history button that goes yeah. through the shit I and, pressed. And I just want to point out to the to the listeners that I said, hey, you know, there's a tab. You can have a save tab. You save everything. You can't, you're like, I can't put things on my memes Jonas, list. Jo that's not my memes list. <laughs> Thank said, you. It is a list of memes, but I would never. <laughs> call it my memes list what do you call a list of memes then i wouldn't call it that i'd just call it my my lean my meme library all right meme, are you now the meme lord yes it's my meme database <laughs> thank you what, did, what did, did, did you tell me before that you were the meme lord was that like way back during like red dead redemption that sounds about right dude. Yeah, dude, so, i knew i knew a good meme when i saw it dude i yeah. still do yeah well i mean but, like essentially once the meme lord always the meme lord no no, the meme world is fickle and fleeting, Jonas. Oh, really? Yeah. So you could go from meme lord to meme peasant in a minute? See, I was like meme lord back when Do You Know The Way. Okay. Yeah. When that was out. Okay. Not anymore, though. No. Oh, you couldn't even tell me what you was hot in the streets right now? No, you can't keep up, man. Twitter moves like this, man, and I'm, I can't even get into our account anymore. Like, like you breathe in. And before you breathe out, it's already changed. Basically. They're like, okay, dad. And you're like, all I did was breathe. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, sorry, Gramps. It's a constant struggle, man, like lifting weights. <laughs> Absolutely. Just yeah. like that. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what do you got, man? Oh, you, you meant to tell me you got nothing. You <laughs> I literally it. have nothing, dude, because I can't find what I wanted to talk about. It was like some pressing news. There was a lady. I do remember one story. Okay. There was I mean, a lady. I was just, just giving you an opportunity to bring something to the table. <laughs> there was a lady in, in Ohio. Okay. I think it was in Cleveland. Not sure. It oh, might have been Akron. I don't know because fucking. Truth, not facts. Yeah, exactly. Cool. She, it's in the U.S. She was at a grocery store. I okay. I don't know which one. And Giant apparently eagle. she had stolen a bunch of stuff oh. and put it in her car. And then when a guy came out to confront her about her. You're not supposed to do that. Loss prevention loss prevention says your life is worth more than that product. That's Anyways. True. That's true. But it was like, it's like a, a little a little lady, man. You know, just like a woman. She can have a gun? Facts. But, you know, if you can be like, hey, excuse me, oh, ma'am. Can I just see your, can I just I see your receipt? A, I wonder if she had a sausage in her pants. No, Jonas. <laughs> Jesus. I can tell you it does not go that way. 
Anyway. But anyway, a guy went up to confront her, and she opens her car and lets three pit bulls just fucking attack this dude. Is that Target? I don't know what tour it was. Oh, like. okay. I don't know, but uh, yeah, she got she got taken in, and uh, apparently she she got off pretty easy for basically sick and dogs. She attack pit bulls in her car. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crazy, dude. If you had, if you had attack pit bulls, would you take them with you no, to like Walmart? You, yes, but they wouldn't make them attack people. This is the thing. You know what I always have? You, you remember when we were watching uh, Reno 911 the other day? Yeah. Dude. Which, <laughs> let's not even get into that. It doesn't even hold up. <laughs> but <it'd> be, <laughs> if we tried to make that show today, we'd be canceled. <laughs> Definitely. But you, you remember when one of the officers got bit by one of those dogs and he had on, like, obviously one of the special coats? Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to have that done, dude. Like, you want to, like, wear the wear the coat and let the dog, like, where you, like, run from it and the dog, like, jumps on you and drags you down? Yeah, and just, like, grabs my forearm. You just, like, latches on i want to feel that power because i always like play with dogs a little yeah, rough yeah, and shit. But, but yeah you don't want a, a pit bull to like lock his jaw on your wrist yeah. yeah i couldn't even imagine what it would go through to train a dog to attack another person which is what i'm kind of kind of i think at. she would uh have to not feed them and then give them raw steak yeah but wouldn't they just turn on your ass nah dude you're the provider Wow. No, dude. I mean, eventually, yeah, dude. Because, <laughs> I mean, eventually, <laughs> well, yeah, because they talk about, like, those guys who, like, train cobras, and eventually the cobra bites him, and he's like, oh, fuck, dude, you're training cobras. What do you expect? I saw. <laughs> that, that is not. <laughs> snakes, though. Snakes don't have the same mind as a dog. Snakes are, like, food, not food, scared, threat. sleepy. <laughs> threat, non threat, yeah. Yeah, they're, like, scared, sleepy, hungry. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I could see a snake turning on you because it doesn't even like dignify you as a entity. Yeah, dude, imagine being crushed by an anaconda. How much <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Speaking of snakes turning on you, dude, I saw something on Reddit the other day. Lady was in a pet shop with a snake that she worked with it seemingly all the time. Soon as she opens it up, snake comes out it's like a fucking python. S curls his head out, just like looks at her. Grabs onto her arm, starts wrapping her up, dude. Blood everywhere. I'm like, yo. <laughs> never. Did he bite her? Or he just he like- bit her and then he coiled, but it was like a big python. So, like, there's a, like another dude trying to help her and, like, like use a metal device to get the jaw off of her. Was it Hulk Hogan's 24 inch pythons? <laughs> <laughs> Two of them, Jonas. Intertwined. Dude. Like the snake centipede. Human centipede? Except it was a, a snake. And Whoa. it was made out of Hulk Hogan arms. <laughs> Do we have actual topic? <laughs> I don't know if we have anything real. That sounds like a crazy <laughs> fucking time. We dude. can just talk about it came from Reddit. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, 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 no. We can uh, do that. Quick hit. You got something for oh, I got I got some stuff, dude. Yo, Jonas uh, never disappoints. I dude, I always got real things. I mean they're facts, not news. <laughs> Truths. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You know how it goes. I mean, I talked about a lady sicking dogs on some dude. Yeah, dude, that's a story. It is. Yeah, dude. Happened. Uh you know, quick charge on your phone. You can get you, quick charge on you your know, phone. You know, quick to where your phone's supposed to be like fast charges, dude. I mean, that's bullshit. I read. I read. Fast Charge 5.0 is coming out. It's hitting the streets soon. It can charge your phone from 0 to 50 in 5 minutes. Jonas, I call bullshit. And it can charge your phone 100% in 15 minutes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 0, 50, and 5, but that second... Yeah, everybody knows the first half takes a lot longer to go bad than the second. You go from 90 to... You go from 100 to 50 in like... And then the same, like, it's a third of the amount of time to go you're, from 50 to 0. You're zero. not even wrong. So 50 should really be 33%, but they can't do it like that. Hmm. Wow, Jonas. I think you might have just illuminated <laughs> something. Another <laughs> fallacy of big telephone. <laughs> uh, I call bullshit on this technology, though, because, I mean, I remember reading in a tech magazine just, like, within the last 10 years that they had those thicker phones with the batteries that lasted for like a week you remember those oh yeah dude you remember i think you brought that to my attention yeah but now they got like dude now they got like uh your apps take more power dude snapchat dude tiktok that shit drains the shit out of your phone (laughs) come on jonas though really where's the tech at though where is the tech? The tech is in uh, making you buy new ones the tech Uh if they gave you a battery that lasted a week why would you need to buy a new phone 
I mean, the phone still degrades over time. I mean, yeah, dude. no matter what tech, you know, computers go, TVs go, Xboxes go. Don't you dare say my computer's going to go. <laughs> I don't want him to buy a computer to record this podcast. One day the dishwasher's going to start working. And guess what? We're going to call the Crazy Town Compounds Management Office and have them come replace that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ain't paying shit for that. <laughs> You're going to call them up? Is, is it insured? I already called them once and said it was not heating the dishes, and they came and put a brand new bitch in there, and then... It, no, they didn't fix the problem. I'm like, you took no. the one out. It was broken, but the new one does the same thing. It's even worse. Yeah, They just like took it out. I was like, oh, well, thanks for the new dishwasher. <laughs> but like, <laughs> he's like, that part's going to cost as much as a new one. I'm like, what is? what the fuck That's is it? Bad. LCD screen for a monitor? Like, yeah, you need an LCD screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was talking about the 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 frailty of of uh, technology. Yeah, that dude. is what we're talking about. Yeah, here. my grandma had the same washer <laughs> when I was like when I was thirty that she had when she was when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And then like you buy a washer now, dude. In three years, you gotta replace that thing, dude. <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> they they, don't they, don't. Them, they dude. just don't make them. Like they used to. Yeah, dude, you build a bridge, it lasts 100 years. Build a bridge now, dude, in 10 years, you got to close that bitch down and repair it. I know. Jonas, when I was a kid, all we do is we rub dirt and Robitussin and anything, <laughs> and it was fixed. Dude, one time I ate dirt with a Robitussin spoon. <laughs> and no cancer. Yeah. Cancer free. Thank you very there wasn't fucking any much. was 5G in the 80s. You know how that does, do you? We all know the 5G's caused all the radio waves in our I'm, still, I'm still, like, I, I still am waiting for that next big breakthrough to happen in, and that happens in cell phones, though. But I don't know if this is it. Like, Quick Charge, that does sound amazing Dude, and great. Theory. But, like I said, they were supposed to have the batteries that lasted forever. They're, they kind of promised us a bunch of di different things. And we're supposed to have foldable Where are collapsible screens, Jonas? Oh, that came out and it broke in a nah, minute. Exactly. They blamed it on the consumer. They're like, oh, that film? You're not supposed to peel that off. You're like, bitch. No. Nah, it was the film, trash. and then, like, even doing this, like, in a week's time, people were complaining about cracks in the screen. Well, yeah, dude. <clears throat> okay. Your phone will break down when it doesn't fold in half. If you have a screen that you're yeah. just going to go, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, you take anything and fold it in half a thousand times, exactly. it's going to degrade in the middle. And and that's just like, like I said, they promised us a bunch of different things. But the next new big breakthrough in cell phones, I'm a big proponent of cell phones. I'm not a boomer when it comes to cell phones. I'm like, these things are basically making us cyborgs. When they can implant them into our arms, we're basically cyborgs. Yeah. Because access to knowledge is the same as basically knowing it. Because you can always look it up. Yeah. And if you have the world's sum total of knowledge at your fingertips yo that is that's it makes power everyone more stupid jonas how old is snoop dogg do you know what it would have took when we were kids to find out how old snoop dogg was uh we wouldn't have known who he was we would have known who snoop dogg was but we're okay fine john i'm just saying you realize that well that, we know how old's bill cosby i don't know but guess what i got a cell phone <laughs> so i basically know it i can look it up i can verify just because you can read doesn't mean you're smart <laughs> But access to knowledge <laughs> <laughs> is the same as knowing it. Yeah, it's, but it's, you know what happens when your phone's dead and you need to call somebody? Oh, my God. Listen, are what, you going to get into your boomer no, talk? you know what's happening when your phone's dead and you need to call somebody? <laughs> I don't know, fucking Bear Grylls. What do I do? <laughs> you don't know their phone number to call them, so you're fucked. Oh, fuck good. Who good. the fuck talk? Nobody talks on the phone, Jonas. <laughs> Nobody talks. On the phone. I talk on the phone. No, honestly, dead ass, Jonas. Nobody talks on the phone, and texting is going out of style. What I don't know if you really. Texting? Nobody texts anymore. Like actual text. They, they text texts. via another app. Uh, what do they do then? Just all video chat? I mean. How do you communicate? How do they communicate? <laughs> <laughs> they just telepathically throw it at I'm each other? I'm telling you, texting is going out of style, man. They're going to have to come up with something new now. Well, what are people doing instead? I don't know. I've like, I know a lot. I, I know there's a lot of people that don't actually use text messages to their phone number, but they'll use like Snapchat or WhatsApp or something like that to like actually like maybe text back and forth uh, because you can send videos and like all sorts of shit through that. I, I kind of feel like talking on the phone is like the cassette tape and texting is like CDs. Right. So it's like, what is the next step? I don't fucking know, Joe. Everyone likes to video chat in public, though. Like they're walking around the walking the around episode. the grocery store. They're just holding their phone up in front of their face, like chit chatting about and, and Bobby's honest, Bobby's party this weekend. 
And while I feel like that's like even more invasive than texting and or talking on the phone, <laughs> right. that may be the next step because I mean, how many times did we see in movies that took place in the future when we were growing up yeah. with video screens and we were like, oh wow, dude, that'd be so cool if we could do, motherfucker, we can. Yeah, now it's in our pocket. Right here. And the Jetsons had it in their house and we thought that exactly. was Exactly, cool. it's in our pocket. It really is like the future living on today. Yeah, dude. So whatever, whatever they come up next with cell phones, man, it's going to be great. I'm definitely on board. Um, I realize that they're just grifting us for money every every month, but yeah, I'm not I'm not falling for the hype of this this fifty percent charge. <laughs> yeah, dude. I uh, not, dude. but you know what I thought that would be really good for because like it, what it made me think of immediately was like if you go to like a like a music festival or something, which sure. which people won't be going to anytime soon, but. They always have like those charging banks where because your phone will never last the entire day while you're at a festival. You know what I mean? Like it's no. draining. It's trying to it's trying to like hit towers. You're tr you're using video. You know it drains. But they have those things like oh dude charge your phone put it in a locker come back in seven hours and it's fully charged. Like so if it was if it really charged in fifteen minutes, yeah, you could like be like boom go get something to eat come back your phone's charged. Yeah, that would be great. Or those it things at the air be. they do it at the airport too. Like you're traveling, you're like. Fuck, I need to charge my phone. It would have been great if I just had a phone, that, a battery that just lasted a week. I think it's easier for them to invent technology that charges the battery faster than to get a battery that holds a charge longer. That I agree with. That I agree with. Before you know it, your, your phone battery is only going to last like an hour, but they'll be able to charge it in three minutes. It'll be like, oh, boom, charge, but charge. You're, you're just going to be constantly attached to the thing. You're going to have your phone's going to, your brain's going to be swollen from all the cell phone cancer in it. <laughs> <laughs> all the cell phone cancer. Because <laughs> they're just throwing all the 5G waves into your brain, dude. <laughs> no, Jonas, all you got to do is dirt and robotussing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, but I think, uh, yeah, I think, it, I think that'll come faster because, well, because like just the, the battery technology is expensive where I feel like, I feel like the charging is just like a way to like force the charge into the battery is yeah. cheaper than getting a higher capacity. See, I, yeah, I don't know, but I, I do see like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to even get it to charge. It's probably going to be more expensive though. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah, dude. I'm sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, the only charge, I mean, but you think about it, dude, they charge you a grand for a phone. That's really not bad for how much you use it. Like paying like a thousand dollars for a laptop. You're like, oh dude, a thousand bucks for a laptop. That's a cheap laptop. And then like you use it a lot and you're like, oh, that's cool though. But then they charge you a thousand dollars for something that you use literally like six hours plus a day. Every day for like three years, it'll last you, and you're like, dude, that's fucked up. Why you charge me so much? <laughs> I just can't believe you're telling me all of this with a Verizon hat on. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that? We're not even on a video. Why do you have a Verizon hat? I just don't understand. And uh, the vest. Can and you hear me vest. now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Isn't that their thing? <laughs> that was their thing. Yeah, dude. No, uh. Oh, speaking of which, Sprint and T Mobile combined. So I guess I'm a T Mobile customer now. Sprint and T-Mobile. Yeah, so now there's a big three, dude. It's it's AT and T, it, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Oh but wait, it, so they got rid of Sprint. Sprint's gone. Sprint merged with T-Mobile. So the way because so Sprint because just... basically T-Mobile was really big in rural areas. Yeah, and T more bigger in rural areas, and Sprint was bigger in like in urban like city areas. Mm. So like by combining, they 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 are able to compete with like AT and T and Verizon, who have these nationwide networks for rural. And that's where Verizon merged with Altel because Altel yeah. had all the rural shit. Yeah, I remember and then they, that. Um, it it made them more competitive against like AT and T. So I don't know. They told <laughs> like I got an email saying like, oh dude, all the Sprint stores are gonna be T Mobile stores now. And I'm like, great, dude. Ew, yeah, dude, you're gonna dude. make me pay more money now because it's monopolized. Now you get a pink T, Jonas, aren't you? <laughs> My T's already a little pink. I can b believe it. <laughs> a little low T. You ever? <laughs> I was gonna ask you. You ever? You, you ever had like a low T day? <laughs> <You're just like laughs> You just feel Dude, like this is my type of question. <laughs> Thank you. you Keep just, going. You Keep just going. feel like you're having a low T day, dude. Like a little emotional. You got a little bit of sand, you know, dude, in your cheeks. Yes, Jonas. You're just feeling like not so fresh. Yeah, dude. You're like, oh, man, you know <laughs> what? I want to like eat some raw steak, but then I'm going to go in and think about like my life. And all my no. feelings. <laughs> 
like you got to take a bubble bath and light yeah, some candles. Yeah, take a bubble bath while I eat that raw steak, dude. I've never taken a bubble bath. Yeah, you know, I mean, I did when I was a kid. Yeah, probably then. <laughs> um, yeah, Jonas, low tea days are okay, though. It's Do okay. They happen? Is that a thing? Is that technically what they are? Like, I don't know if that's what they are. Are you t- are you telling me you have tea issues? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the <laughs> symptoms for tea issues are. I can look them up, though. We can go over this. Yeah, no, dude. We can. Uh, I figure I'm good as long as I don't have any. Uh, if I don't need Viagra, I'm probably good, right? Uh, uh, Doesn't low T make your make your thing not work? Uh, dude, uh, yeah, it can, but it can have other effects as well. I mean, everything hits everybody <laughs> so differently. I just cry. <laughs> Do you just wake up crying? Just <laughs> crying? Is that is that what the side effects? Are you hugging a stuffed unicorn? <laughs> yeah, right. Like I go to go to the gym and I just want to like help the guy out next to me and hold his hand. <laughs> Do you find yourself complimenting women on their shoes? Dude, their shoes are nice. I mean, sometimes. They, I mean, I wear, I have like a pair of shoes because I don't care. <laughs> a pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, I have a pair. I wear it. What, what kind of shoes are they, Jonas? Oh, Tell the world, dude. Know, dude. New Balance or something? I don't know. All right, all right. Sensible shoes, <laughs> Jonas. Velcro? No, dude. I would wear Velcro, though. That shit is bomb. What? No, it is not bomb. <laughs> it shows that you have low tactile acuity. <laughs> that is what it shows. <laughs> is that low T? No. Oh. That's low mobility. When I was in high school, I used to go try to find the Velcro shoes to wear them to school. <laughs> Got them at Kmart or whatever, dude. This, They're like eight bucks. No, they were like eight bucks at Kmart. Yeah, dude. Yes. They're like gray with Velcro on them, dude. They're hot, dude. It's hot. so funny because as a kid, I definitely, uh, I was a name brand chaser. Oh, really? Say that? Yeah. And my mom was not necessarily about it, but she, she acquiesced on a few articles. The only name brand shit I ever wanted and got was I got the Converse Larry Johnsons, both pairs, the Grandma Ma's, and then Kevin Johnson had a pair too. Those are the only those are the only name brand shoes I ever wanted when I was a kid because I loved the Hornets. The Hornets were like my team back in the day. Huh. I loved like Larry Johnson, Alonzo Mourning, and all those guys. So like I wanted the Grandma Ma shoes. He had two different ones. No, I never I never went that deep with it. But that was it. I mean, I didn't care about anything else. I was like, oh, dude, give me that. No, dude, I wanted the Tommy Hilfiger shirt. And oh, cr- I wanted the cross colors. I was too fat for that, dude. They, <laughs> they didn't sell my size, Fair dude. Enough. Fair <laughs> enough. I could have, dude. I've been like, Fair oh, enough. dude, Tommy's fresh. Look like a stuffed sausage in that shit. I guess fresh would have been acceptable back then. It made me cringe a little bit in the moment. Yeah, but yeah, back dude, then, no, it would have no, been no, totally like, viable. Tommy, you would have been looking fresh. Yeah. Like, and then that Ed Hardy rolled out, dude. And you were like, <laughs> Ed Hardy. No, I didn't wear Ed Hardy. <laughs> no, no. With that fucking that that tattoo artwork with like a lion <laughs> head on every fucking one, dude. <laughs> and what was really popular for a minute to uh those fucking like UFC style shirts, but they weren't like what are the they? The tap out shirts? No, they weren't tap out. Affliction, weird. dude. It was like affliction. It was all like girl looked like had like metal writing, dude. It was like dude. I don't know if that's what you would consider name brand. Like no, no, but that was like just a style that people were into, no. like those uh, those like. MMA shirts where it was just like they all they were all flashy t-shirts. I remember tap out shirts me and making a run. Yeah, dude, Definitely. everybody just wanted to tap motherfucker out. No. Nobody wants to do that anymore. You get made fun of now if you're wearing like an Under Armour wife beater in the middle of the street. <laughs> you can't do that. You just can't do that anymore. Gotta have self-respect, is that what they're saying? <laughs> you better put some fucking sleeves on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does anybody wear like tank tops out? I'm wearing a tank top right now, but it's like because I just went for a walk. That's but true. Like, you are wearing a wife beater. You don't no, even have a, to no, admit that. This is an actual tank top. No, nah, it's not okay. a wife beater. I'm pretty actual. sure that's a wife no, beater. No, dude, this is a four dollar tank top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can beat your wife in class. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> it, it, oh. it doesn't have it doesn't have the ribbing that a wife beater has. It's a, yeah, it's it's a it's a through the loom. I bought it in a one. I didn't buy a five pack, dude. Wife beaters it's, come in five packs. It said food of the loom wife beater for poor pack. <laughs> poor pack. <laughs> Pinkies up when you beat your wife. That's what it said. No, dude. This isn't. No. But are you not allowed to wear sleeves? Is like like a sin now? Is that? If you don't wear <laughs> sleeves, <laughs> like you go out and you wear a tank top, people are going to be like, trash. Um, I spit I mean, on you. It does have some negative connotation <laughs> with the style. What's so. it mean? We've gone over it, Jonas. It means that you're usually a douchebag. Is it the same as if you don't wear a mask? 
Um, that's subject to opinion, I suppose. Is it called a sleeve rat? Which is why you decided to wear a wife beater today. And <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. Because that your opinion of them is that I paid $4 for this, so I can't be a douchebag. Right. And the rest of the world might be like, look at this douchebag. It's just a I'm tank top, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got wife beaters in the drawer in there. You, you want me to own go more? <laughs> I can go put a wife beater on right now. You want me to go put one on? (laughs) There's a difference between this and all. Which means that that you really own twice as many wife beaters. I do that to wear my shirts, bro. You've been classifying these tank tops (laughs) as tank tops and not wife beaters. Hey, man, you got to know what you're wearing. No, it's (laughs) fine. Jonas is ready for battle with anybody's spouse. (laughs) Jesus Christ. <laughs> Spouse battle. Man, dude. What? It's yeah. fine, dude. No, honestly, Jonas, you look good. You're allowed to wear whatever you want, all right? <laughs> I'm going to have a dress on next time. We too old to be concerned about what the fuck people... Exactly. So, but uh, anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh, yeah, just do it. <laughs> I guess TNT, I'm on Twitch. Uh, yeah, 10 o'clock a.m. Central TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Towns. Come and All hang right. out. We'll catch you on the next one. For yeah. TNT. We'll get... Oh, we... All right. Oh, what the...